Europe. Camden is literally steeped in rock and roll history, whether it's the heady days of Britpop or indeed pretty much any rock band that's come through over the last 10 years, this is home. Now, I'm looking for a man who can perhaps help me out, give me a guided tour to the place. It's Grant Nicholas from Camden. Hello. Hi, how Camden, are you? Camden, North London. Now you've lived here Camden. for what, 10 years? 12 years now. 12 years. 12 years and four men. And I suppose this is, am I right in saying this is rock and roll nirvana? This place? I, sp I suppose it is really, yeah. That's where it all started for us anyway. Let's check it out. Let's go. We took a plane through the southern Spain to see the... OK, so here we are outside the Spread Eagle on Parkway in Camden. Why have you chosen this place, Grant? Um, I've spent quite a few nights at this place. I've, I've pretty much been to all the pubs in the area, really, and been banned from most of them. There's always something going on in Camden, and I just find it kind of very, very central. It's not too near the West End, but it's not too far. And uh, I don't know, I just sort of, I just always felt comfortable in Camden. So where to next? Dublin Castle. I suppose it's, it is a fitting place. Pretty much every band I know has started out there. You guys have played there. All the greats. <laughs> All the greats. Let's go. Let's check it out. Talk me through this place. Um, well, it was kind of where we really broke, I suppose. We used to play the whole Camden um, circuit. And uh, when a Britpop was happening, and being, and being in like a heavy rock band at the time, it was quite tough times. Either, but uh, we finally got a sign off for playing in these kind of places. The thing about this place is it is renowned for championing uh, new talent, so probably someone on this poster will make it. Now, will it be Tokyo Dragons? Ripped. You never know. Yeah, when we started off, and I'm sure people were saying, who the hell are feeder? Any favourite haunts, any inspiring places that make you uh, want to write? Yeah, I used to, I used to do all my lyrics um, up that way in uh, Regent's Park. I used to sit on the bench with my little lyric pad and my dictaphone. Guess I'm stuck in a dream Surrounded by coloured leaves on the ground This is it. This is home, the best. Home, home, to, uh, home to high, I think, is it? Yeah, it is. I actually, yeah, I did um, actually, well, I didn't do the music here, but I actually worked on all, all the lyrics here um, on one nice hot summery day. It was a song that really, really turned things around for us, um, certainly at radio anyway. It was our, well, biggest hit from, from the first album, um, Polythene. The chorus is... I'm coming out for a while so I can get high with my friends. It's just all about going up in the Don't place. wait up because I won't be home. <laughs> Again. Still, <laughs> <laughs> has always been better. I think that the American bands still have a lot more exposure in the UK, which seems crazy to me when there's so many good like British rock bands. Uh, I mean, it is obviously quite positive to see, obviously, ourselves in the charts and you know, Ash and some new rock bands coming through, like Muse and people like My Victriol. I think the British bands have a slightly more interesting edge to it in some way. It isn't quite so processed. For me personally, I prefer what came out of America 10 or 12 years ago. I think the Brits... Still to come on Play Loud, Feeder frontman Grant Nicholas picks a classic track. Our man on the Hi, I'm Grant from Feeder, and this is one of my all-time favourites, Come As You Are by Nirvana. I think Kurt Cobain was uh, probably one of the best songwriters, certainly in my generation, and uh, I think he brought along... He brought back kind of rock music when it really needed to come back, and... Uh, pushed away all that horrible 80s rock that was around at that time. So, good on you.